Hagim, different Hagim, different places. We're up to Nun Hei Amid Beis at the bottom, Nun Hei Amid Beis at the bottom. She should devour a Masu Anshe Yericho. Six things the men of Yericho did. Ashloisha Micha Biyadam on three things that the Chachamim said you didn't do the right thing. Ashloisha Micha Biyadam. Even though they weren't happy with them, they did not go ahead and tell them you didn't do the right thing. These are the three latter ones that they did. And even though they a, a stickle were wrong, the Chacham didn't not stop them. One, Markivin the Kalam Kalayayim. All day Yudalid, they went ahead and they grafted trees. We're going to see they grafted palm trees. We'll have two days in the Gemara exactly what they did. The Karkin es Shema, and they went ahead and made a sandwich out of Shema. They attached parts of Shema. The Kaitzrin, the Goitzrin of Oimer. And they would cut and they would heap up before the Oimer. And all these three things that you shouldn't do. They did it and they weren't they were Micha. However, these are things they did do and they stopped them. They permitted the shoots that grew from a tree that was Hegdish. And they ate from fruit that fell on Shabbos underneath the tree. We'll see, that's a problem of Moksa. We'll see exactly what transpired. And finally, and they would give payah for Yerik. Yerik is part of some payah. And they did the wrong thing because by going in and taking payah, you're taking off the din of Misa from it. Because Matna Saniyam, payah is one of the Matna Saniyam, and all Matna Saniyam are part of from Misa. So by going in and taking in, uh, illegally, taking Yerik, <coughs> payah off Yerik, uh, you're being patterning from Misa. So therefore, they stopped them. Those last things, they stopped them. Now I'm going to go through each, each one of the things. But before we get there, the Gemara quotes uh, another Gemara but that's similar. Says the Mishnah Rabbanon, Shish Devarim Asa Chizkiya HaMelech, three things Chizkiya HaMelech did, Ashleisha Haidaloi, Ashleisha Loi Haidaloi. Three things he did, six, three they, the Chachamim were masking to him, and three they were not. Giru at Samis Aviv Al Mita. His father was a Russian Marusha. His father was Achaz. He was an Abid Rabbi the Zara. He, he, he promoted Rabbi the Zara. Instead of giving him a proper burial with a proper coffin, he put him on, on, on ropes. And instead of being carried, he dragged him on the ground. They were happy with that, that he wasn't Mechabed's father. Shel Chavalim, B'mita Shel Chavalim, V'hodolo, Kites Nochash and Choshesh. We in Pashas Baloyska, we have an incident where, where all the Bnei Yisrael are, are, are they, they do something wrong. And as a result, uh, poisonous, venomous snakes come and they're biting people and they're dying en masse. And the Moshe Davins, the people do tshuva, and they bring what's called the Nechash and Nechosh as a banner. And that banner had been called Nechushtan. It had been called Nechushtan, and it was used, and, and eventually became an Avoy Zara. And he went ahead, and he destroyed it. And they will agree to his destruction of it. Gine's Sefer Refuas, Kisya hid the Sefer Refuas that, that Shlomo HaMelech had passed down. The Refuas, the people were or just be some of the fools and not the Benish Lalam, and therefore um, he hid it. By the way, there's a the Rambam in this Mishnah says that the Sefer Rafuas, they used to know how to make these little dolls, and the dolls were the image of the people, like voodoo, it seemed to be. And it seemed to be that that's why he hid it. Al Shlay Shalai three things the people did, he was not Maida. Kitsait's Dlasha Shal Hechel, the Shigwan Lamelech Asher. On the Hechel, there was an overlay of gold, he cut it off, and he sent it to Melech Asher as a present. That he shouldn't go ahead, the Zavcherev shouldn't go ahead and, 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 and trample the, and, and siege the land. They, weren't, they didn't agree to that. They should have, should have been talking. Sasan may Gicha in the Elyon, he stopped the Gicha in the Elyon, the water should not come down. And Vele Hoydeloi. And Ibr Nisan Benisan, he made an Ibiyar Nisan. We make an Ibiyar in Adar. Once you get to Nisan, it's too late. He already did that in Nisan, Vele Hoydeloi. Now, going back to our Mishnah, one of the three things that Ansar Yeruchoi did. That they were, they Lemicha was their Markiv in the Kolam, Kolayam Yudalid. They grafted trees all Yudalid. What exactly was that graft? Hey, you Avdi, what did they do? Am Rabbi Yehuda, Maisi Asa Dora, they bought a, 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 a moist Hadas, the Shikra de Dafna, and they bought a, a juice from a, a branch of berries of a, of a laurel tree, the Kimcha de Sari, and they brought a uh, Kemach of barley, the Rami b'mana de lecholfi lo arba yomim. That was in a kli that forty days and not passed by. Umeraski lo who when they cooked them all together, v'shadi lo ladikla belibe and they threw it down the heart of the tree in the heart of the palm. 
That's what the whole the koi ba'arba amas the day, and any tree that was in four amas of these trees, iloy of the lehachi. If you didn't do the same remedy for them, tsavei la'alta, they dry up immediately. In other words, it seems that this potion had the capacity to draw all the nutrients to the tree. And therefore, what? If other trees around it, they were losing the nutrients. And therefore, they had to have it as well. very It seemed that the male palm produces the fruit and the female doesn't. So they grafted the male palm branch onto a female tree. That's what they did, Yudalad. I guess I'll have it. The Korchan Shema. And they went ahead and they made Shema into a sandwich. They mean they weren't mafsik. Hey, of the Amrav Yehud, the Aymer Shema Yisrael Hashem Elkin Hashem Echad, Veloi Hoyu Mafsikin, and they were not mafsik between Echad and Hafta. They went straight from Echad into Hafta. Rav Amar Mafsikin Hoyu, they were mafsik. Ela Shahoyu Aymer Hayom Alu Bavecha. They would read it Hayom Alu Bavecha. Veshinam Tum Lubanecha Hayom Alu Bavecha. The Mashma Hayom Alu Bavecha. Just today it's on your heart. Veloi Macha Alu Bavecha. And for Lamech Biyadam, they did not stop them. This is another price of an opinion what the men of Yericho did wrong. They were Mavsikah. They did not say Baruch Shem. Listen to this, fellas. What's the reason we say Baruch Shem? What's the reason? Remember Shem and Lakish? Yaakov called his sons together. Come together and I'll tell you what do you want to tell the sons? He wanted to tell them when the end was going to be. He wanted to tell Kate Sayomin. And the Stalkumimenu Shina and the Shina left him. And as soon as it left him, Yaakov was wondering what's going on over here. So Omar, Shemachas Rashalom Yesh be me pasay pasal. Maybe in my mita, as a result of my children, I have a pasal, Kavram Chiyatsim and Yishmoel, Vaavi Yitzchak, Chiyatsim and Esav. So maybe that's the reason why it was mistalic, the Shechina for me. I shouldn't reveal the case because maybe my sons are not right. So Amr Lai Bonim, the son said to him, Shema Yisrael, Hashem El Kenu, Hashem Echad. No, we're all Echad, we're all in one. So Amru, Keshem Shem, Belilcha, Ela Echad, just like this, in your heart there's only one. Kachim Bilbenu, Ela Echad. Ba'isa Shah, Pasach Yaakov, Avinu, Amar, Baruch Shem, Kavah, Machasol, Ilam, Ba'ed. How many of you knew that, that Ba'at, it's Yaakov, Avinu, said, Baruch Shem, Kavah, Machasol, Ilam, Ba'ed. Right? Isn't that fascinating? You have to wait till now to find out. Fascinating. I'm Rabbanan. Hechi Navid. What the Rabbanan said the following. Namru, Namru who? Layamru, Namru to say Baruch Shem Kabbalah Machusol. In other words, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elkeinu Echad, Baruch Shem Kabbalah Machusol in bed. Now Shema is in the Torah. But Baruch Shem is not in the Torah. So how can we go ahead and just say, say Baruch Shem? One second. Moshe Rabbeinu loy Namru. Moshe never said it. Amru Yaakov, right? Amru Amru Yaakov, his Amru. I didn't mean to write. Let's go again. Amru Rabban Hechi Yavet. Amru who? Loy Amru Moshe Rabbeinu. Loy Amru. I don't say it. Amru Yaakov said it. So what should we do? They're stuck in limbo. Yeskinu shei yoyim ma'isleiv bechashoi. Therefore, we say Baruch Shem very quietly. We don't say it loudly because Moshe wasn't. It's not the Torah, but we don't say it. We don't do not say it because of what of Yaakov Avinu. Amru Yitzchak comment very Ravami. Moshe Lebasmelech, she he rikhat sike kedera. Basmelech, she goes ahead and she smells in, in sike kedera. She smells something very, very gishmak. She smells something very gishmak. In time, yeishlog. In time, if she says yeishlog, and I, it's not covered for princess to express her tithes. Lo yamar, she doesn't say anything yeishlog tsar. So eschilu avdel lehevi bechashoy. They begin bringing it, but you know they 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 bring it quietly. So they were talking to say it because because of the meaning who said you know when you're whispering something it must be something wrong. We still and now we still say This is a little different than our mission. It's a price a little different. Makivin the kolon kolayom the whole day your dollar they can go ahead and graft the trees the karkanes shema they can go ahead and and, and say you know be mafsik the kites from lefnei oimer the kites you can cut before the oimer even though it says by the oimer guys reishis kitzirchem by the oimer that's only for oimer of the reishis kitzirchem from places that's right for the oimer 
the Yericho is in a valley, it's an emokim, it's inferior fruit, inferior grain. You cannot bring the, the mincha, mincha's oimer from there. Therefore, there's no problem cutting it. The problem is if you go ahead and heap it up. If you heap it up, you might eat it. If you eat it, that's a problem. You might be eating chadash. So to go ahead and cut it, we're not worried because what? Well, it's not a problem of reishis kitzirchem because you can't bring the oimer from here. On the other hand, to keep it up, or you might eat it, that's a problem. So notice it just says the last thing of Kaitzrin. They would Now, guys, go back to the Amishnah. Go back the, the last line of the Amid base. Right? You have a steer right there, correct? Over there, our Mishnah says they were Kaitzrin the Goitchin of Aimer, and they didn't say anything. Over here it says Goitchin, they did say something. So you have a steerer from the Brysa to the Mishnah vis-a-vis heaping up the grain. And our Mishnah said, it didn't stop him. Over here, they stopped him. Okay? Which one is correct? We'll see in a second. Uparts and Pratzai's begin to say him. We did not have this, but we had it, but in a different Lashen. They would open up the Aginas, Upartasayim, and the orchids, to go ahead and feed the fruit that fell off, in years of famine, Taivim. So they permitted this. And they permitted the shoots of Hegdish and Shikma. If they did it, why only Ansha Yerichai? Then call on them Oisin. Everyone should be able to do it, not just Ansha Yerichai, right? All these were Shlei Bratz and Chachamim. In other words, if you notice the change in Lashin from the Brisha to the Mishnah, guys, look at the Lashin and the Mishnah. Shisha Devarim Asu Asha Yerichai, Micha Biyadam. Here it says, Hodu Lo Chachamim, right? What's the difference? Moidatu means you did the right thing. Micha Biyadam means you did the wrong thing, but we didn't say anything. So now we're switching. We're saying the Chachamim <coughs> were not Moida. The Chachamim did not agree with them. And everything didn't agree with them. There's always a problem. Some they went ahead and made them Acha and said no, and some they didn't. They would mark the decal the whole day. That's like a Mishnah. They permitted the shoots of Hegdish, shall throw shall shikma. Then we're going to see again, we'll see the problem on the only base with this. Parts and process, we're going to say them, we're going to say them, we'll get into that as well. Now, let's bear that. 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 Let's in Menachas, that says they were able to cut, because again, as I told you, since you cannot bring from these places in Yericho, you can, no problem cutting it. It's not a problem of Rejus Ketzirchem. The Goytshin of Nei Oymesh Leid Ratzon Chachamim, however, heaping up not. Lemicha B'yadam Chachamim, Ami Beis. Man Shama Leid Dama Micha B'Lei Micha. Who's the one who said Lashem Micha B'Micha? Right, with Rabbi Yehuda. The Ketani Koytshin B'Ratzon Chachamim. It said you cut B'Ratzon Chachamim, but you said Lei Micha. It says, Well, Taimei, Chani Arba Havei. You have a total of four guys here. You have Harkava, Kaitzrin, Gaitshin, right? And what's the fourth one? And Karkin, right? You have four. You have Markivin, Karkin, Kaitzrin, the Gaitshin. So you have to delete one. Well, Teme Khani Arba Habi Elisami Mikan Katsira. Take away Katsira. Katsira was not a problem. Okay, what is, what is the problem with Gemizia? What's the problem of the shoot? Martin and Gemizia shall hegg the shell, Hruv, shall shikma. Amra Amru, I was saying a lot of issue. Our fathers were magdashit, elakoyres. They only magdash the trunk of the tree. But onu nati gemizia shall hegdish. And we will matter the shoots of hegdish, shall krubish shall shikma, ubigidul na balach mikan askinan. And we're speaking not about the original tree. We're speaking about the, after you will magdash the tree, the stuff that grows from the tree. The sarile, okay, command the yama in meila bigidulin. There's no meila in bigidulin. Okay, outside guys, very Gishmak alumnus. Gishmak alumnus here. Meila is where you have enough from Hegdish. It's a din of Gezel, it's a din of Gezela. You're stealing from Hegdish. That's where Chaim's work. You're stealing from Hegdish. But Meila, Toysis in, in uh, Baba, Baba Basra, Daf Ayin Tess, says if that Meila is something that when you Magdish Bepe, in other words, 
If I'm magdish something bepeh, then there's a dinam ila. The shoots of this tree, they're not considered magdish bepeh. They are kaidish because the tree is kaidish. Now the tree, there would be a dinam ila. In the trunk of the tree, since you magdish the tree with peh, it would be a dinam ila. But everything afterwards that comes, that grows, you are a magdish bepeh. So there's no dinam ila. Question. If there's no dinam ila, is there still an issa to go ahead and use it or not? Are you stealing mum and hegdish? You may not be having enough from hegdish, but are you stealing mum and hegdish? And that's the controversy over here that the, the Anshay Yericho felt. Our fathers, they went ahead, they were managed the tree 100 years ago. I got these shoots growing over here. I can go ahead and use it. And the Chacham said, good, there's no dinam eel in the tree, but there's still lives and is on the moment of the tree. And therefore, they, they're Micha Biyad and they stop them. That's the Lumbus over here. It's very, very nice Lumbus. Okay, so let's see the Lushan again. I was saying like Dishu El Kairos. Our fathers, they only managed the trunks. For Anu Nitu Gemisio Shal Hegdesh. We matted the, the shoots of Hegdesh that grew, the branches that grew. Shal Chruv and Shal Shikma. Every seven years, you would, they would prune the branches of a Chruv and Shikma tree. Seven years. We're dealing with the gedulin that come after the act of hegdish. The sabri lekaman the amar emila begedulin. So since there's no meila, we could use it. For Rabban Sabi, no. The he the meila like I agree. There's no meila. Only sura mia ikud. There's still an is of mominus over here, and therefore they were micha biyadam. It's a very nice explain way to explain the difference between meila and the isra, right? Whether you magdish or not. Who parts and pratzais? We said they, they would what go What were ahead. they supposed to do with the mammon? Like, what were they supposed to do with the mammon? Uh, if it's usher, what, what they can't do, if the mammon's usher, what they, what, they held, what, they held it, we can go ahead and use it. They, no, they, that they, was but what the mammon say. Again, we just on the, on the the like it. So I don't know what you do with the money. I can't, why did they stop them? They stopped them because they felt right. there was no Issa. They felt there was no Issa, period. And, the, and that they felt since it's since there's no Me'ila, there's no Issa. And the Chacham said, no, good, there's no meal, it's still an Issa. Who puts in process? Amar Ula, Amar of Shimon Lakish, Machloikis Bishel Machmadais. Okay, now at the top of the tree, guys, it's big Machloikis Rashi and Tysis over here. At the top of the tree, they're like, the palms grow and they have receptacle areas and the dates fall in them and they also fall down to lower branches. The upper branches are called mechabdois. The lower branches are called kipin. Now, if you would go up in the tree and take from mechabdois, you have a problem because over there, if we let you take from there, you may come to go ahead and take from the dates that are attached to the tree. On the other hand, in the lower level, there is no, no, no dates that are there. So the Gemara is going to make a chilik between the, the dates that are uprooted, nesher, they fell, and they fell into the upper level versus the ones that fell to the lower level. Okay, says the Gemara. This is Rashi. The machloikis is what falls into the spoon-like area. The Rabban and Savri, Gazrinon, Shema Yale, you'll go up, the Yit Loish, and you'll take out from the Mechubarois. That's what the Chachonim held. The Anshe Yericha Savri, Loi Gazrinon, Shema Yale, the Yit Loish. Avobishel Bena keeping on the lower level, Divya Kol Muta. So, upper level Machlaikis between Chacham and Anche Yerichai, lower level Muta. Tysis has a big problem with Rashi's Pshat because Rashi's assuming you're able to go up on a tree on Yontif. How we all know you're not allowed to go on a tree on Yontif for Shabbos, right? You're not allowed to do that. So, you'll see Tysis yourselves. He has a different Pshat. That's Tysis. That's a Kasha that you should be bothered by, Venera Lui, and it and goes into a a different shot. Amli Rabba, for Muktsininu, Lachaira, Bena Shmashais, this stuff was attached to the tree. If it was attached to the tree, how could you go ahead now and, and take it? Lachaira, how could you take it? It was attached to the tree. So in other words, it's what we call Muktsa. The Chazila Orvin, since a guy who had pet ravens could go ahead and put them there and they'll eat them even though they're attached and therefore they're not Muktsa. If an animal is alive, Ben Ashmashus drops dead on, on Yon, you can't feed it to the dogs. If not, Rabbi Yehud Oimer, if the animal is not in the Vela Erev Shabbos, Asura, if you shame in a Muchen, Muchen La Arvin, just because it's Muchen La Arvin, 
Avimuchin la'adam? In other words, it makes no sense. Just because, or in other words, madoch it's muchin la'adam, where it's alive, bein ashmashis. You'll be able to shecht it on shab, on yontif, right? But if it drops dead, it's not, it's, it's muktza, where it's permitted for animals, would it be permitted for adam? Says Muhammad in, you're right, it would be permitted. Muchin la'adam lo'yav in muchin la'klavim, I agree. Anything that one is not that's not seen to a person, right? But but something that a person could have is das is on it, and since he could have dates, his das is on it. is not in the upper level. is in the lower level. Machlokes between the anshe yiruch and the chachamim are the lower level. But the stuff that's on the upper level, everyone said, with us, why? Because we're in Hashem, we love you. We worry, maybe you go up there and disconnect them. So that was, the, that was what they were, because again, we worry, it's a Muktza problem, it's a Shabbos problem. The final thing they were, was pay a Yerek. What was the problem with pay a Yerek? We said, Maisa. The nice thing pay a Yerek, they took pay on Yerek. Fred Gmar of Lestu Anchi Yerichu did the Anchi Yerichu not hold Hadit Nan Klal Amru Bepeya. There's a Klal in Peya. Kol Shu Oichel Benishmar. Anything that you could eat, Benishmar, and you put away. Figidula Benishmar, and you watch. You're not mafker it. Excuse me. You're not mafker it. Figidula Mina Aretz. It grows from the ground and not like mushrooms and truffles. Likikasay Kaachas. And you gather them. You harvest them all at the same time. Umachnisay Likiyam. And you put them away for storage. Chay Bepeya. So in order to be chayv and peya, you have to go ahead and check off that whole list. Now the Gemara now will do the that's that Gemara goes through the checklist now. Kol shehu oichel prat le satis v'kutza. You have the safiches of satis is saffron kutza to oskol taichted wood. If you plant these things initially, they're food. However, if they grow as aftergrowths, meaning they grew from seeds that fell, they're not an oichel. They'd be part of a peya. V'nishmar prat lehefker. If you're mafka, you feel that's why it's it's, it's no dinner paya. Ugaduli mina arets, proudly kameim with pitrios, truffles and what and, and mushrooms. We saw in the sect shot and brachis, you make a shahakal on them because they grow from the earth, they grow from the air, they don't grow from the earth. Vilikitasan ka'achas, you have to harvest at the same time. Proudly ta'inim, this would exclude figs. Umachnisa lakiyam, and you bring in and to store them, proudly yerik. So yerik is what is pata for paya. So doesn't the Anshe Yericho hold like this? Why would they take and pay you off Yerik? L'chayra, it's a Mephorit Shemishnah in the map. I'm reviewed them, Rav HaHacha Barashi L'Fasit Skinah. We're not dealing with any vegetable. We're speaking about the head of a turnip. Now the turnip would be put away. The head of a turnip, they would put away Agav, the what? The, the turnip. Umachnis l'kiyam al yidei davarachem, k'mith l'ki. Machloikis is something that is machnis al yidei davarachem for kiyam, whether it is a dinner pay or not. Masavar, the men of Yericho held, machnisa l'kiyam ayyidei davarach eshnei kiyam. That since the, the, the head of the turnip, the head of turnips, you put them away, agav the turnips, therefore, this is dinner peya. But masav, the chacham say, leishmei peya. And the chacham say, no, there's no dinner peya. Okay, Bez Hashem, tomorrow, 8.30. And then on Monday, we're returning, and we're returning to the, to the side of the shul. Everyone's welcome to come. We'll be on Zoom as well. Have a good day.